Council got to hear more on the use of our local streetcar and how a new plan will be in place starting in September to try to increase usage of the public transportation. This data was put in the works back in April when Council directed city staff to provide them with a study on the economic impact modified operating hours. Sam harris Simwitz joins us live in the studio with that story. Yeah, Eric, all of those things went into that study today, as well as an assessment of cost savings for event-only services for our local streetcars. Now, the members of City Council and the Mayor heard a presentation regarding the data that's been found over the past few months. Now, they issued the beginning of that study that was back on April 11th, as well as the upcoming optimization plan that Sun Metro says is set to take into effect on September 1st, so just under two months from now. And that will be the beginning of the upcoming 2024 fiscal year. Now, that service optimization includes an increase from five to seven days of service, and the hours will go from 34, which they are currently, to 81 as well. They'll be now requiring six full time operators to start of that plan with two on call. Now, council did not take any action following that proposal, but I did ask Sun Metro to clarify that this plan is going into effect in just under two months. No, no we're going to stay on the five days a week schedule until September 1st. Mm -hmm. And at that time, we'll go to the optimization plan where we're running seven days a week. So is that based on a trial period? No, we are moving to do the operations like that. We will continue to assess the situation month by month to make sure that we're getting the ridership, we're getting the things that we thought we'd get out of the optimization plan. And if, if there needs to be some adjustment after that, then we'll adjust from there. And that was not the only important issue of discussion today at City Council. Members voting on their appointment of the city's chief internal auditor, which they now have the power to do after May's special election. We'll hear from the mayor on today's vote and the one member of council who stood in opposition to that decision. I'll bring you all of that coming up on ABC 7 at 6.